Hey guys, this is Kelton here, and I just quickly wanted to show off my um, thing I made today. It's a 100 watt LED flashlight. So right what I'm touching now is the 100 watt LED, and it um, only cost me about $4, uh, including shipping, US. And then I have this old heat sink from my computer, and then a um, 250 watt boost converter on the back which is pretty cool. It, it's producing around 30 volts at 3.2 amps for, for this LED. And it's um, powered by this little uh, Anderson power pole connector up here. Also with this um, little switch, you can power it on and off. So I'm just gonna make sure that's off so I don't startle myself. Then I'm going to plug it into this little power meter here, which tells me how much power there is is going through here. Plugged it in the wrong socket. Focus. It's so hard looking through the lens trying to um, do the video. Anyway, 13.28 volts, zero, uh, zero amps, zero amp hour, zero watts. I'm using this little six amp hour, 12 volt um, lithium ion phosphate battery. Just for doing that. So I'm going to connect the um, flashlight, all right, the flashlight is now connected. Now if I um, turn the switch on, that is incredibly bright. You can see the counter up there. I'm gonna go hold the, pick up the flashlight, aim it near there. You can, you can see how much brighter that's getting. Turn the flashlight off. You can see the difference. It's pretty darn crazy how bright this thing is. So, that's just something I made today, this flashlight, this afternoon. So it's pretty cool, it's about 9,000 lumens. It takes around uh, 8.95 amps, or basically nine amps at 12 volts. So nine amps, 12 volts, and about 110 watts, what um, this meter said. I, for I forgot to show on camera this, what this meter said, so I'll go do that again. Plug the meter in, plug the flashlight in, power the flashlight on, see if the camera can ignore it. Now the voltage has dropped a little bit, 9.1 amps now, it's a bit different, 112.7 watts. So yep, this is a project I worked on today. And I'm not sure how much the heatsink would cost, and the switch probably cost like 5 bucks. The LED itself cost me about 4 bucks, as I said, and that little um, 250 watt boost converter, which is not, which is current limiting. It's not actually running at 250 watts. It's probably only running about 100 watts because that's the rating of the LED. And it's um, about six dollars with two dollars fifty shipping. So um, this LED, this uh, flashlight is a really cool project. And um, by the way, the LED here, uh, I'll focus that cl close up has a hundred of those little chips and each one of those little things is um, about one watt and focus again please and then the um, L the LED is connected onto the copper heat plate of this um, heat sink using a I, it should be using regular thermal paste although I, cr I did not have any of that so I just mixed 75% toothpaste and 25% aquifer and I made a pretty good um, pretty good uh, thermal paste and on the very back here, this boost converter is, is connected to the very back plate, also using thermal paste, uh, the same toothpaste. And I just have, you can see some right there. And I just have it uh, taped there. And I, although I can't adjust these potentiometers, because if I do that, I might go over the limit of the LED and possibly blow it up. So that was today's project I just worked on. I'll possibly try to get the links in the description to everything I used. I won't be able to link this exact heatsink though, because it's um, one I got out of an old MacBook Pro. So hopefully you enjoyed this video.